whistle while you work. Now, I believe every adult knows this tune from Snow White. The seven dwarves teach us to find joy in our work. We've turned some of those ongoing, never-ending chores into fun recreational events that entice our kids to work with great attitudes. I've included some of Krista's favorites. But why have joy? Is it necessary to find joy in our work? Is work the only place to find joy? And here's the biggest question. How do I find joy? Galatians 5, 22 and 23 lists joy as one of the fruits of the Spirit. So as believers in Jesus, we should be filled with joy. Joy should flow from us regardless of our work. But what about when circumstances are not just mundane but difficult? James 1-2 tells us to consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and that endurance results in us being perfectly ready for whatever job God has for us. He uses tough times to shape us into who He wants us to be. So where do we find that joy? We find joy only in Jesus. Hebrews 12-2 tells us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross. Jesus went to the cross focusing on the joy of our salvation resulting from his sacrificial obedience. We enjoy playing games with our kids. We believe it's important to teach our kids how to work and play with joy. But our greatest focus is training our children in the ways of the Lord. 3 John chapter 1 verse 4 clearly states our prayer as parents. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Try some of our fun cleaning games with your kids this week. Teach them the truth of joy in work, but most importantly, teach them about joy that is only found in Jesus. And when you turn around and find another load of laundry to do, don't get bogged down with the task of the mundane, but focus on the joy in the work. 